Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be playing some Demir Rogues in Ranked. Uh, we're just going to have a chill, some chill gameplay today. Um, I'm not feeling like doing anything too, you know, brain consuming. Although a Rogues Mirror is not something that I really want to be uh, partaking in, to be totally honest. But, you know, needs must. Um, we're hoping to get a Black Source here. Before I, um, you know, carry on playing the game, um, I just want to ask you guys if you could please subscribe to the channel. It would mean a massive amount to me. And, yeah. That's all I have to say on that. So, he's got twice the amount of crabs uh, that I have, which is, you know, it's, it's kind of the way that my games have been going um, in the past um, in the past day. Today. I've been having a pretty rough time of it. Um I can't seem to pick the right deck to play at any given moment uh, because I always come up against the worst matchup. I, he's got three crabs. He has three times the amount of crabs as I do and a fabled passage. There is just nothing much that you can really do in this uh, situation. Uh, he has milled another crab. I feel that crab is probably the best card um, in these decks. Okay. I'll leave up Thieves, Thieves Guild Enforcer instead he, in case he just, you know, snaps, swings in with his rogue crabs. I can catch him out for that. Okay, well, you know, another nine of my cards are going in the bin. Okay. Alright, so all of my crabs have been destroyed now. So I cannot really um, aim to win this game by milling him out over him milling me out. Because, what? Three cards, three lands, not even that. Two more lands for him, and he wins. So, yeah, there, there's nothing much you can really do in this situation except look at his hand and marvel at what's going on. Oh, sh I should have waited for him to attack because he would have swung in with his crabs. See, look at that. I can mill you too, mate. I can mill you too, and I will. I will mill you. Oh, why did I not mill nine when I played that? Oh, that's right. I didn't have turn one. Okay, let's... How do we sideboard in the mirror then? Okay, adding cling to dusts. Skyclave shades, pretty good. I chose the one in the gate. It's an interesting one. Blood cheese burst is very good. This is a bit slow. I think Marfic Wind Robber I don't like as much. Just kind of strip down the deck into its bare, bare kind of minimum. I might have sideboarded really poorly there, but I'm just like, as I said, I'm not in the mood to be, um, you know, doing anything too mindful. We just have to hope to get more crabs than him. Especially if that is three crabs by turn three. Into Fabled Passage, of course. Because you, you wouldn't ever have just a basic land in that position. Okay, so let's play Forest then. Alright, we've got two Thieves Guild Enforcers and a Soaring Fort Thief. Um, I think that warrants um, keeping this hand. Um, it's probably nothing um, in comparison to the uh, the extent of the crabs that we're about to see now, but that's fine. Okay, there's the first crab. Another temple. Alright, Fuse gonna force it. We are going to go totally down the milling him out plan. This guy, he's not gonna be ready. 
There's the second crab. Okay. Um, you know, let's dispute this. I, I don't really want to be playing against that many crabs. Plays a blue source. Okay, he doesn't play a blue source. Oh, does he have a Fuse Good Enforcer as well? You cannot start off like that. Come on. Play like this. Um, depending on what he plays. We want to... Um, want to uh, represent a drown in the lock here. Play Fuse Gun Enforcer. See if he... Okay, so we bait out a drown in the lock. Well, not bait out really, but, you know, he plays this drown in the lock there. We play ours. Here we go. So we are on the aggressive plan here. We can hopefully beat this guy down before um, he mills us too badly. He's only got one crab, so I'm not that worried currently. Um, if he's got into the story here, it would suck. But, you know, when we don't draw our counter spells, there's nothing much we can really do. Well, we did draw a counter spell. We just had to use it on a crab because he did have two of them. And for the record, we had zero. Okay. So he wants two of each colour, so I'm pretty sure that this is a into a story here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, okay. Ooh. Hey, to be fair, I'll take a Skyclave Shade in that situation. Millim 2. We're nearly milling the same amount um, as he's milling us, which is um, good. Okay, he plays Sauron Fort Thief. There's a 2 3. Passes to damage. Okay. So, what I'll do here is I'll bring Luris back to the hand. Um, I don't think we gain any benefits from representing different cards. Uh, we want to kind of have as much black mana as possible here. Uh, we've got enough of each colour. Um, and considering our, what we have in our hand, um, I think it's better to represent, or not represent, but leave up black mana. Okay, um, you know, Ruin Crab sucks in this situation. However, the upside we can see from it is that we've got a lot more targets in our graveyard um, for Luris. So, you know, we can look take a positive spin on it swing in with everything he's gonna have to block at some point yeah there we go so in case this is a um, a mystical dispute he's holding up I'll play the land first. There we go. So we've managed to avoid that kind of trap. Although I suppose um, it taps out all our mana. So, um, okay, he plays into the story. Um, reasonable card there. So if he can go land, black land, removal spell. Okay, he didn't get anything, so it's one all now. Let's go into the third game. So, I'm thinking about adding a negate into our deck. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure Murphic Wind Robber was a good cut and of one mind. Um, Skyclave Shade uh, did amazing things for us that game. Um, maybe Law Mage's Domination is our one little weak link that we can. I'd rather have an extra copy of Negate than a Low Mage's Domination for later on in this game. Um, I think so, anyway. Okay, now let's get into this game where he will be on the play and see what see what goes down. Uh, it's just a very poor hand. I'll keep this, but once again, it's not. It's not what we want to see at all. 
especially okay he hasn't played crap so we'll also go for a temple now we need to be we need to get some proactive cards at the very least sky clear shade uh, temple we, we just need to get some kind something you know going for us I'm not gonna blood choose for us there, there's no there's no point we, we, we need something anything to try and get, give ourselves a chance Not worth oh, milling that. Oh, that's irritating. <sighs> he played his thieves given and forcer at the perfect time. It's irritating because you know we, we kind of needed to draw some cards. Our hand was pretty poor. We, we just drawn lands really, like. Bring us back to a hand. Alright, let's, let's do this. It, it means we take four in the meantime, but. Okay, let's, let's counter this. If he counters us, then that means that we'll be able to resolve our Lurus. I think. Maybe not, because he's probably got one of those cards in his hand, doesn't he? Let's see, we've probably got one in our graveyard. Yeah, he does. He, you, you can see it with the way he's having to resolve everything. Decline. I'm not, I'm not, I can't cast that. He's got that blue and a black, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he, he's got the nuts. He, he, you know, let's cast it like this. Into the story. We've got, we've got, we, there's a chance here that we could get back into this game. There's definitely a chance. And I'm not sure the optimal way to play um, currently um, to guarantee it. But like, I think actually it's going down to six here. Uh, go down to three, sorry. like this and then we'll play our fabled passage then we can swing in with our Lurus here and we could also play into the story next turn okay that that turn worked out fine um so we've kind of stabilized here um if not being slightly ahead if our um into the story is to resolve Okay, we mill free. <laughs> Alright, we have a really good chance here. We have a really good chance. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the story now. So I've got better information when trying to decide how to block. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go for no blocks there. Oh, but it, you know, could this be a, a moment where I should, I shouldn't really go for the Academe's Awakening play? Um, I think I. Uh, one taking this here um, we're probably going to have to sack a, a creature here um, so I can't attack this turn uh, because if he kills our uh, so he could kill both of our creatures here if he has two removal spells and win. Um, kill that like so. Okay, so now he can bring both of his Skyclave uh, shades back if he so desires. Does he bring Lurus back to hand? Yeah, there we go. So let's go like so. So if we play it like this, this maximizes our mills from um, Thieves Guild in forces. So now we're ma we're milling a lot of cards. We won't swing. Um, that's not the game plan we're going for to win this game. Um, it's a block like this. Soaring Fort Thief of One Mind. Fair. So he, he's got some really good draws here. Okay. Lurus. Sort of Fort Thief. Ah, so he's trying to build up his um, presence in the air here. So what kind of milling do we get then we can do eight we could do six sorry nine i think we have to go like this here mill him four cards then we can play ruin crab So something like this. Actually, a swamp is probably one of the best cards in this situation. Um, destroy target creature with no counters on it. Um, so this will stop him from being able to win. Um, next to combat. we swing like this actually I think to maximize efficiency uh, because we're not going for a win um, from attack damage if we just go like this the feels good enforcer to get the additional okay let's hope because um, we can negate one uh, removal spell here And then next turn, a um, our thieves going enforcer is lethal. 
from Lurus. That's the goal anyway. See if we can actually get that in practice. Um, he's got three cards in hand. Hopefully all of them lands. Um, okay, so we'll get milled. So we don't have a card on top actually, which is a little bit scary. Into a story. Mystical dispute. Uh, okay, he draws four. If he gets a removal spell for our soaring fort thief, we have lost. Actually, no, we haven't because because he doesn't have two, um, this won't have three power. So he will never be able to beat us this turn. That's not saying that he won't be able to beat us next turn. Um, If he kills Lurus, it's kind of unlikely that we win here. Um, but there's still like there's still outs for us. Um, okay. So he's going for a mill plan on me, which will definitely not work. Um, so because I'm going to mill him out this turn. And there we go. So we win our first game then with this deck. Um, I love playing a bit of rogues. Um, you know, it, it gets your brain thinking even if you don't want to. But yeah, let's get into the next game. All right, into our second game then. And we are playing against the lad, Sonic Weed. Um, what a username. We've got a couple crabs in the de in our hand. Um, things you love to see. Hoping that we can hit ourselves a... Um, a nice island or a no nope, we don't that is fine by me uh, I'm not a fan of sorry I fought for this position here um, I think we kind of want to be drawing a little bit differently okay that was probably one of the best cards we could have got in that situation um, considering we were going to have no plays Although Fabled Passage um, is a really good card in this situation, um, I'm not sure we quite want it there. Okay, so he's going to play out his Love Struck Beast here. Um, we've got two kind of answers for this here, so um, I'm not too um, not too fast. You can play out a Swamp, and yeah, then we're kind of living good. Because of the amount of cards in his graveyard, we can kind of steal whatever we want. So we've just got to wait and see. I quite like the rogues in this matchup, actually. Right. Just going to destroy it now. Um, I was hoping we could bait out maybe an Unleashed Fury or something of a sort. Could still have a Kazal's Fury. Uh, he could always bounce it back to his hand, I suppose. Fair. If he plays a land into Lovestruck Beast, okay, he doesn't. Does he even have a land? He does. So now he's going to play out his Shepherd. Okay. Sound. Maybe if we stop drawing land soon, um, I'd be happy with that. But um, for the time being, I'm fine. How many more cards is it that we need to mill? 34. Okay. So that's essentially about five lands. If we think of it in terms of... Um, him drawing cards as well. So five mana. So Goldspan Dragon, yeah. Definitely not, sir. Swings of all. Alright, well, you know, there's no chance that we're um, going to sacrifice one of our ruined crabs essentially to. One, two, three. One, two, 
three. Perfect. Then we'll keep up drowned in the lock. Okay, well, you know, that was a misclick. Didn't mean to swing with that, but so we'll take an extra two damage next turn. That is shouldn't it be a it shouldn't be a massive problem. Obviously it's something that we want didn't want to do, but Actually it could be a good way for us to have played around Bone Crusher Giant. If we're looking on the positive side. Um, I will sacrifice here uh, to get a blue source because we are just going to try and steal this Love Struck Beast next turn. Um, if he's got a Shepherd, it would be annoying, but. Such is life that. We have to brave him having. Well, I'm pretty sure now that he's got a uh, Bone Crusher Giant, so. All we've got to do is play around that. Attacks. There's the Bone Crusher Giant. Thought we had it. Okay, now let's see what he's got left to left to play. Maybe thinking back, Blood Chiefs first wasn't the best card to team put up. Of course, he's got a blood a gold span dragon. Um, that's probably the best card in this situation. So um, he's probably got another Unleash Fury or whatever it is. It doubles the power as well. So he's got two mana here uh, because his treasures tap for two mana because of the gold span dragon's ability. Edge willing keeper. Okay, cool. So destroy this. He gets a treasure, but it's fine. Destroy Edgewell Innkeeper. What cards do we have in our graveyard then? Nothing. Nothing really. Still play out our Lurus. He's dead to any land off the top. So if we draw a land here, um, we win the game. Uh, if he kills a Ruin Crab, we could just replay it with Lurus. Uh, I'm not sure there's many outs for this guy other than us not drawing a land. Um, and even then we would have drawn another spell, so. Giant Killer. Bone Crusher Giant. Um, what's he going to do now? Play a land? Okay. Alright. Into the story. Probably the best draw there outside of a land. We draw four cards. <laughs> there we go. So we get our we get our landfall trigger. There we go. So we win game one there, um, quite convincingly. Um, and that is the power of the crabs. Uh, the crabs are really good in this matchup. So now we just think of what we want to add. So I'm thinking just currently, if we just add a blood chiefs first, um, 
and run it back like that. Uh, maybe we should have added the gates. Uh, but I'm not too pressed. Uh, we could always add them in the next game. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm, I'm hoping we're just going to win this match. Um, okay. <sighs> Difficult hand to kind of evaluate here. Alright, so he mulligans, so we'll keep... Um, I would say it's better to have a mediocre 7 uh, than a above average 6. Hopefully he goes Forest, um, um, Edge Willing Keeper. You know, it's just playing right into this hand. Perfect. You love to see it, really. Then we can go Soaring Fort Thief um, and Off One Mind. So he doesn't have a bone crusher giant or much, I don't think. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a lot. Resolve attackers. That's an easy block for us. Then what we'll do is we'll draw, um, we'll draw two cards. Hopefully we can start drawing some. Um, some blue mana, so we can just take this Phoenix of Ash. Uh, it makes it a lot more easy for us if we could do that. So you're going to do just make that four power. Yeah, solid. Play this for the blue, and let's just run it back. Okay, next turn we'll um, leave it up so that if he pumps it, we can kill it in response. All right, so he didn't play into that. Um, should have, good for him. Counter that. Doesn't take much thinking about to counter that spell. So he's got a land in his hand. Might be he's got like a Kazandu Mammoth or something, so he's debating whether to keep it. No, he doesn't. Alright. So, could just pay free to. Can't quite do that yet. Now we can. Now we're kind of in a uh, driving force. We're kind of in a driving force in this game. Uh, we could just kill the gold span dragon. Oh, hopefully he doesn't have that bring back to hand card. That would be kind of irritating here. Um, ah, he's giving it protection. Okay, so sweet. he swings back for four. Creates another card. And we will kill this next turn um, if he's... So he'll get another treasure here. Hopefully he doesn't have another protection spell. Does he have another one? <laughs> Alright, so, you know. He's got a lot of good cards, this guy. Um, we can swing in with this one. Actually, we can swing in for both. Um, like I'm, I'm not going to really block next turn. I don't think he will have Ember. Em is Ember Cleave in these taxis? I don't think so. <laughs> you know. There are good cards to get. 
there are good cards to get. And um, then there are good cards to get. Now, this is one of those so-called good cards to get. Because he can just sacrifice it to win the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, there, there's not much you can really do in that situation. Um, yeah, he, he had the perfect combination of cards to deal with what we had. That's irritating, but, you know. It's part of the game. He can have two of... I, I don't think he's got more than two copies of that card in his deck, so... Um, yeah, I think that must be there's only two copies which he had. Ah, well, sometimes the luck goes away, sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully in this third game against Sonic Weed we can have, you know, the luck can swing our way. Okay, play first. Alright, we've got a decent hand here. So, with our Fabled Passage, we'll get ourselves a blue source. That'll be next turn, of course, that we do that. Because we want to get the um, the free blue online as fast as possible for this low Mages domination. Uh, this is the kind of hand that if, if this guy's got the nuts, we can't beat it. Um, or we'd have to draw well to beat it. Um, however, if he doesn't, uh, this could be a very close game here. Or we could just draw really well and we could run away with it. This of one mind helps that. If we get a land next turn, um, it'd be really helpful. Let's get a blue. We need as much blue mana in our hand as possible. So Hopefully we can get rid of some good cards here as well. Yeah, we've already got rid of Goldspan, Dragon, Unleash, Kazools, and a Showdown. So it's already shaping up to go really well for us. Two mana, hopefully not a Scorching Dragon Fire or something. Fire Prophecy. Uh, it's irritating, that one. Uh, that one kind of hurts. Uh, so does not hit the land there. I was hoping to get average draws at the very least. Seems like that's not going to be how it's going to shape up for us. Hopefully he's not got a 1-1. One, one. Alright, there's his 1-1. One, one. We don't have a spell to counter it. Pass the damage. Oh, I think he's got a Bone Crusher Giant. It's definitely a Bone Crusher Giant there. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, get rid of two Bone Crusher Giants, not too bad. Um, do we off one mind here? Um, I think that's a little bit greedy. Um, I think the correct play here is to get rid of this 1 1, stop the Love Struck Beast from attacking, um, and then try and go from there. Uh, we can low mode domination anything with power three or less. Um, he shouldn't have too much more protections. We've got two in the bin already. Um, it might be that he has a whole play set of them when playing against us. Goldsman Dragon coming down now. Um, 
if so we'd be rewarded um, for holding up our essence scatter okay so this is going to be a uh, phoenix of ash okay key There's a 1-1 one, one coming in. <laughs> That's frustrating. Three Lovestruck Beasts. Ugh. Okay. I kind of need to block something here. Block like that. Take a copy of Love Struck Beast here. Then we can sacrifice and use off one mind. I didn't quite see that interaction until um, it happened, but I'll take it. Okay. So we're going to have to block Phoenix of Ash here with our Soaring Fort Thief, um, unfortunately. Or else we're just a little bit too dead to it. Because uh, if he's pumps it with a, um, you know, unleash fury, I think it's called, yeah, unleash fury. Then that's just, you know, that that sucks for us. Oh, Edgewilling Keeper, come on, mate. Phoenix of Ash, okay. Oh, come on, give us some good cards, please. Oh, because we don't have double... Um, we don't have double black, so... Okay. I think we've lost this game. Oh, well. We couldn't have done plays on previous tram without it. We've got pretty mana screwed, considering we're 17 cards deep. To hit four lands is unlucky. Um, we should be on average getting at least um, eight or nine. A little bit like this. What's irritating is that we're going to have to steal this Phoenix of Ash here because otherwise he could just tap down our Sorry Fort Thief because the other one would be tapped. It's irritating, but it's the way we have to play it um, to be able to survive this term. Even if he's got something like a Bone Crusher Giant um, here. So he's only 30 cards deep. Um. So he does this, he gets a token, taps down one of my flyers, uh, and then we're just in a very bad situation from there. Uh, maybe even a losing situation where we, 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 we've just lost. Um, I think we have as well. Okay. Let's just block how we would 
we have to block this, we have to block here, and we have to block here, yeah. So that's exactly full from a lad. Um, respect. Um, Alright, well, that's going to be it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching. Um, kind of ashamed to end on a bad note, but it is what it is sometimes. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day.